Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces back to a Minecraft project, a series where I film my Let's Play in Minecraft in the 1.181 update, Caves and Cliffs, and I'm trying to 100% the game by completing all the advancements. As you guys know, this is episode 10 of the series, and it has been epic, and this is the episode where I was going to pick one lucky viewer who was subscribed and left a comment in the last episode, because I died if we can roll a montage of the nether deaths uh, back to back to back now. <gasps> I might put this down, and then I might YOLO into the middle. You ready? Watch. Like that. Oh shit. Fuck. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm risking it. Oh no! No, no, no! No! I'm an idiot. I'm an actual idiot! A magma cube pushed me in, you absolute sausage roll! Flicker of tits! Shiza basically hit the fan. And, you know, it wasn't all bad because even though I died and I lost $500 to one of you guys, which is actually going to be Jen Wilson, who left this comment. Congratulations, we'll be reaching out to you to give you your money. Um, it, it worked out a pretty good episode. It may have cost me, you know, 500 quid. However, we came out with netherite tools. As we can see in my world right now, I have got myself a nice pimped out netherite pick. But if you look at my inventory right now between this episode and the last one, and where I'm at and what I'm kind of like hinting towards is something went very wrong. And by something, I mean I've recorded for the last two hours an entire episode for you guys. You know how like the last episode we were supposed to go find villagers and explore and do this. And instead I got sidetracked by getting killed in the nether. Well, this is the episode where I went and found villagers. I went off and I went exploring. I managed to find like the new powdered snow that you can fall through. It was awesome. I found a goat. I killed a goat. I then found a village, collected all the villagers together in a big light herd, and was like, I'm going to capture you guys and steal you from my hometown. I know this sounds like a lot like slavery. Didn't mean to be, but it kind of panned out that way. And I basically managed to get them all together and thought, you know what? I'm a genius. Let's make a nether bridge. And we'll connect the village area to my home here. And we can then bring all the villagers in and create um, an awesome village in this mountainside Um for those guys to get my trades on. Yeah, turns out within that two hour episode of me recording, guys, I had no audio the entire time. So if I was to release the video, it would have seemed a little bit like this. So yeah, not the best content. So this is where I'm at now. Two hours like towards the end of me recording the episode, uh, finding myself recording yet another episode. So I'm gonna basically say, Huzzah! I managed to find a village. I've got my nether portal up there, which I'm about to swim up to to show you, because we have indeed made progress. We have got our first ever villager who is not zombified like Gary or um, Jill or, I don't know, Gareth in there. Um, and he's up above here. We're actually going to show him off right now, and he's going to be the leader of the new free world. And I don't know whether I should actually... Wait, what the hell? What? What, what, the, what the hell's going on here? I, I couldn't even see those guys within the wall, but yet they kicked my ass. Mate, this guy, what are they doing? Leave me alone. Oh, it's a little guy. Okay, well, first of all, I didn't know they could spawn up going, going up waterfalls. But welcome to my kingdom of villagers where we've got Francois. That's what I'm calling him. Francois, the first of his kind. Um, I actually managed to successfully do the whole, like, nether transportation system to get him to here. And uh, he doesn't know it yet, but he's going to become the most traded um, saucy boy you've ever seen. I honestly cannot believe that I've had such a shenanigan of going, yes, I'm ready to record. Everyone's been waiting for a new episode and I completely balls it up. So sorry about that. But if you guys can do me a favor, uh, leave a like rain, make sure you subscribe. It makes me know that I'm not just a complete failure in life uh, and that I can actually uh, make good things happen. So yeah, you guys managed to miss out on the whole like adventure of me getting him here. But what we need to do is go get in more of his friends to bring through. So let's pop down another bed for another one of them. And let me show you how this all kind of works. This time with sound. I'm just actually going to quickly check that my sound is working. Give me one second. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right. Well, I think it's working. I think we're good. So um, welcome to a micro project. My, my let's play where I'm trying to 100% the game and... I can't believe this is like my third time saying it. But yeah, I basically created this huge nether... 
pathway um, where I can put the villagers into boats and then transport them home as fast as possible. The whole plan was to actually maybe take them by boat in the overworld, but I thought, nah, this is going to be a pain because of the different services and levels that it actually takes to actually transport villagers. Because like when you take them by a boat, it's easier just to take them along one smooth level path. So that's kind of what I'm doing. But let me show you how this process now works. And hopefully this is where it works smoothly rather than all falling apart. This is the village I found. Huzzah, it's beautiful, it's amazing. And I now need to grab one of these villagers, which this is probably dumb of me to uh, do it this way, but I'm going to put a boat down here, try and get one of them to dive in it. You know you want to. This is great. I'm going to push him along. And because I haven't got any spare fence gates for now, I'm just going to put that there and then screw it. Put that there and that there. Because now they won't be able to jump over it. Perfect. I'm going to get rid of this one just for the sake of sakes um guys your new world and your new land is gonna be amazing i bet you can't wait to get there i've collected all the villagers from the actual village i think apart from one who ran off into the caves because i put the bed too close and he ran off and then there's one guy in there so uh yeah just throwing it out there that there is enough for them to still repopulate <laughs> uh if they choose to do so now i don't think you can actually teleport through with these guys so what you have to do is pop them through and then when they pop through, I have boats waiting on the other side to try and catch them. Uh, if he chooses to actually get in the boat. Oh my god, it actually worked. Okay, smooth sailing. And then travel through here, like so, at a very slow rate. I would, if I could, have a silk touch pickaxe. Um, go and collect some ice from the top of a mountain. If we throw back to a clip uh, that we had from earlier... I actually found this like epic like mountain and it was absolutely gorgeous. And the thing was, I was actually looking for lava. And when I was looking for lava at the time, it was so I could make the portal to get back. I was like, oh, I'm going to have to go to the nether and I have to do this. And I just found this whole mass amount, but there was blue ice compacted at the top of it. So what I was thinking is if I had silk touch, I could go grab that and then we could replace this floor with ice and we could speedy Gonzalez through the nether and it would be perfect. However, I don't have the Silk Touch book yet, but because of these guys, I will eventually be able to do so, and then we'll just uh, we'll speed the process up. So, for now, we're stuck with this guy, and, and we'll, we'll keep it going. Everything will be good. And I've basically got to do this. Um, well, I think we've got another eight guys behind us. Do this eight more times, bring them all over, and we should be set then with having the best enchanted gear, uh, being able to make as much XP as we want, because we'll just set up some crazy, crazy trades, uh, and create unlimited emeralds to get us towards working towards a beacon, because... Yeah, you can make it out of iron or gold or, you know, nether, ne like nether debris or whatever it's called. But, you know, ancient debris. But at the same time, it's like, nah, man, sack that. I'll do it out of emeralds. It'll be sparkly and green. It'll be great. But, yeah, we knock this guy through. Hopefully, if he now smoothly steps away from the area. I don't know how tempted it is for him to walk back through it. So, I should take a second to maybe drop back down, make some fence gates for here. So, they don't just keep running in and out of it. But, um, yeah, lo and behold, that's how I've now got villagers to my area. There is also the one problem that I have, I've got is that I still haven't found a nether temple. And I'm really good about this. And the reason why is because I haven't got a nether temple. So I can't infect these guys to become zombies and then change them back. Because I haven't got nether water and I haven't got blaze rods. So I can't actually get them to get really cheap deals right now, which is very, very important. Now... Also worth saying, you might be like, Tom, why have you brought them up here? Like, don't you want them down there? And the answer is no. We're actually going to build them into this actual mountainside here. I just think it's going to be beautiful. I could have done it underneath, like, the base of my house. What the hell? Oh, it was you. Underneath the base of my house. But I'm real. Oh, my gosh. Hello. Uh, I'm thinking of building into this mountain, like, dwarven style, like, little hobbit holes. So once we've got, like, you know, these guys uh, mash producing emeralds and buying melons off us, because as you guys know... The, like, I, I know you could do the whole book system, but the best way to make money is Silk Touch Axe and then just have loads of them buying emeralds one for one and pumpkins one for one. And then basically, all you have to do... Did he just go through the nether? Did he just go through? Oh my god, let me get him back. This is why I need fences on it. What are you doing? No, no. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh my god. This guy. Literally, this guy. Get in the boat. Oh my gosh. So yeah. So you can see, it, it, listen, it's just been a stressful day, okay? From the recording not working, to this guy, to everything, it, it, it's a lot on my plate, okay? All right, get through. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right. Let's, oh, you got in, oh, you got in bed this time, did you? Oh, how, how very bloody polite of you. Right, I'm going to get some wood, I'm going to build what I need, and everything will be good. Oh my god. All right, put this there, and that there, and then when they come through, I can open them up. 
And these guys won't be able to get out. I think I think we're good. I think we're good. And I'm actually gonna nick you out your bed, mate. I just need a place to sleep, rest my mind, because I'm a little bit stressed. Okay, it is a new dawn, it is a new day. I think I got a plan of action. What I'm gonna do is dive on down here. I'm going to empty out my entire inventory and just get a little bit more organized for you guys. Because, again, I, I'm this is a new episode and I'm starting this with a fresh, clean slate. So let's drop everything off. Let's re-harvest our melons because we need to trade them for days. Let's get some composters up there with those guys because they're the guys who actually trade melons. And we'll start on working, getting our XP just absolutely stacking on in. And then we'll start on making sure we're breeding the villagers. We've got different traits for them, different enchantments for them. And all will be good in the hood. So let me be back when I'm feeling a little bit cleaner. But by the way, by the way, would this even be a micro project episode if there wasn't an Enderman chilling around my house? What are you doing, you wee bastard? Look at it. By the way, i just like to point out my lush uh, like bricks or blocks or whatever it was. Moss blocks that I put in look so good. Like, honestly, so glad we collected that. It's such a, like, it's such a simple feature, is it, over here? It's such a simple feature, this moss block, but I love it. I'm kind of addicted to it. If I could find... Oh, wait, what? What is this? End of the end city. If this, if this is a hint of something I need to build, like, actually out here, rather than doing, like, an industrial area of farms, I need to, like, go kill the ender dragon, bring back some blocks, and create a fake ender city just to get these guys feeling at home, I will do. Let it be known. Now, right, I'm feeling way more organized and way more clean. Um, I think I've realized an issue... That, yeah, we did have a silk touch to be able to collect these these melons previously, which was all good. But I'm going to need a silk touch axe, which I don't have right now. Unless, is it downstairs? I'm sure I lost it in the nether. So we are going to have to enchant a new one, which I ain't got a problem to do. Like, it's not, not the end of the world, but is it is it in here? But I have, wait, I have a... Okay, it's not the best. I have a silk touch version of this. What can I enchant if I do this? I'm breaking three. I'd be, I'd be tempted to see if I could do that. See if it can give us actually a, a nice enchantment on it. And I've picked up all my junk I just threw down there. Sweet. But right, you aside, just stop. We need um, some composters. Because that is what I need these guys to get trading. It's actually a really good way to get started. So I think to make composters, do I make these? And is that... Ah, there you go. Right, composter. Oh, that's all I need. So it's just these. All right, so I'm going to make a bunch of these. And like so... Um, I could do the guy who sells sticks. What does that make? Is that a Fletcher's table? I need a Fletcher's table. Fletcher's table. I make a Fletcher's table. I need two flint. All right. They're always good to make a Fletcher's table because then you can sell them sticks. It's just an extra way of getting yourself. I should make two, actually. It's a good way of... Okay. Yep. Thanks for just walking me away. It's a good way to get uh, get, get set up and everything. So, Fletcher's table inbound. Why is it not letting me do it? Fletcher's table. Thank you. So, I've got two Fletcher's table. We've got composters. Um, I am going to collect the melons so they get regrowing, and we're going to go up there, and we're going to give those guys a job, and whilst we give them a job and see what they give us uh, back in return, we'll go and collect the rest of the friends. I would really like to actually focus on, like, giving one of them a lectern and try and get Silk Touch uh, at a book from them, because then not only can we get the Silk Touch for the watermelons, uh, we can get the Silk Touch for the ice, and then we can actually transport the rest of their family and friends much, much quicker. Let's see, with the power of the old school way of harvesting this. Can't fortune three on an, on a melon, can you? I don't think... Can't say I think it works like that. But let's see how many melons we're going to be able to create from breaking them. I'm hoping it's quite a bit. It looks like quite a bit. I've got a stack of 64 there. Uh, but we're only going to find out when we put it into here. How many I can I make? Boom. 19? Eh, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's, that's, not, that's not bad. That's all right. That's all right. There you go. There you go. I'll take that. We got 70. Lovely. There's something, you know, that we can actually do. Because right now, to get up here, we're just taking this little water system. We could actually create um, a water elevator. So, say, yeah. Let's see what block this is here. So, we're at, what is it? Uh, let me take a picture of it. Okay, so I can, I can take note. All right, 36, 406. 36, 406. All right, so 36, 406. If we actually go all the way up here and then mine down on that block, put a water at the top, which, good idea, then we can actually create a water elevator to bubble us straight up to the top. So whenever we want to go see our villagers, we can do. Um, and yeah, and, now, and I said this earlier, but I don't know if I like, explained it properly. The reason why these guys are up here is, first of all, it was an accident. It was supposed to, I was supposed to teleport through over to this. But I, uh, I got the, uh, the, the Y Canuck coordinate wrong. But it turned out to actually be for the better. And I'll show you why when I get up top. Now, as you can see, if we would actually have these guys come through and be at this level, okay, where the cows are, for example. If we wanted to put one of those villagers, say, 
at that height, say there, in like a little hobbit hole, well, we'd have to like make them go upstairs or use pistons or, you know, water elevators or rail carts or whatever. Whereas now what I can do is if I make a, a ledge, I can put them in a boat, drop off onto whatever platform of required height I need them at, say there or there or there, and we can basically put them straight into their home without having to faff around. So it worked out really, really well. Now, hello guys, I'm going to need you to take a job, so I'm actually going to pin you in that corner. That is perfect. That's that's the rest of your life now. Um, You might not like it, but tough. I'm going to give you a composter. I'm just going to move you back real quick. I'm going to give you a composter. And there's your job, lad. What do you trade me? Uh, Carrots, breads. I can't remember. I can't... Wait, what? <gasps> no, no. No, no, no. It, is, it should drop for your rest of life. Go back in. It should drop for your rest of your life. Go back in. <laughs> Damn. My guy was like, nah, don't think I will do that for the rest of my life, actually. It, look, right, it, it will be. I just forgot one key ingredient. Wait, I forgot your slabs. Wait, wait, wait. Now it's your job for the rest of your life. Don't, don't even act like you're going to escape this time, all right? I'm, I'm 200 IQ'd it. All right, so I'm going to break your block. Get back in there. Go on. Go get your job. Go get... Don't do this to me. You're stressing me out, all right? I spent two hours rec failing a recording of an episode. You're going to get in there. All right, whatever. Listen, I'm going to make him jealous. All right, right. You're going to do a job. Oh, right, you love it. See? All right. Uh, he buys he buys, buys bread. Potatoes for potatoes for emeralds. And what is it? Carrots for emeralds? I guess we can have both of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, lucky. Welcome to welcome to the rest of your life, pal. This is it. This is all you get. And this is how I'm going to set them up. I know it's not beautiful. I might look at, make it look a little bit nicer. But for now, it really doesn't matter. You just need to get trading them. Um, of which I can't trade him, and, I, and I've got some, I, I got emeralds on me, and I got many potatoes on me. So I'm off to a crack, I'm off to a cracking start with these two. Um, so I think I'm going to go get one of your brothers or sisters or other. Who knows? 2022. I'll be right back. And ladies and gentlemen, you got a new friend. Way! It's Dave the Sixth. I don't know, I don't, I don't have no idea. I'll give you some more slabs. To extend the area of which they're all going to live. You are not going to do any parkour to get out of here. And I'm going to trap you in. So go over there. Yes. No. Okay, listen. I'll, you know what? I'll make it tempting. Oh, what is this? A job? You want a job? Hey, no. Damn it. He was like, I'll take your job and I'll run off. Get in. Oh, my, uh, oh my gosh. Safe to say, um, doing the villager system is very stressful. I know there's uh, smart ways to do this with, like, you know, uh, mining carts and stuff, but... Not me, no. I love the I love the challenge. Oh, I do. I love the challenge. But anyway, this guy sells us sticks now. Way. Uh, oh no, sorry. It not sells us sticks. Uh, whatever. He sells us something, right? And then all that's gonna get traded into these guys to sell me bread. So I need to level these guys up so they buy my melons. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, Chief? That that's right. Oh, um, do you know what? I could actually, could I could actually get you two getting your breed on. This could be a good idea. I can make another little section over here and make them get their breed on. So then there's mass villagers. Because even though I'm bringing them through now, we could get we could get these guys getting their humps on. But I'm going to go get one more. I'll be right back. Let's make this absolutely flawless. Get str Oh, I've, I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. Now, is he going to run straight over there into a bed? Doesn't matter. I've locked him in. Okay. So now if I create him an area. So let's, yeah, let's do it like this. It's the same size as everyone else's. Um, what job do we want to give him? Do we, do we want to make him another one of these? Sure, why not? You should run to want to go get the job. He's walking. He's thinking. He's dangerous. Trap him in. Push the water along. Oh, push the water along. There we go. Trap him in. And just like that, I have to rinse and repeat that uh, as many times as I want to bring every single villager over. And like I did just say, I'm going to get a breeding program going over here uh, so that we can have even more of these bad boys uh, ready to trade. I want... I'm not joking. I'm probably going to have because wait until you see the size of this melon pumpkin farm I'm going to have. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be like, it's going to probably give me like 600 melons and pumpkins. It's going to be insane. So I'm going to need like uh, 10 to 20 villagers who buy pumpkins and melons uh, set up. Plus then on top of the guys who actually do, uh, you know, like the top tier enchantments and stuff like that. So yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be an insane progress task. But you know what we didn't do just for the actual sense of ease of getting up and down here? Um, I didn't actually make the actual portal block. So we need to go to 44 here. So this is where we're going to go. I'm going to just risk it. I'm going to go all the way. Oh, no. I forgot to put the water down. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm going to put that there. But then just to be smart, I'm going to put that 
there. Right, so then I can actually mine down much faster. Ready? No, it's quite... Oh, I need to go to 60... Oh! Hey! I'm a wizard! All right, there you go. Boom. So we've now got our place to do the fast travel up here. Let's clear this out a little bit. Um, and we'll do it to there. But then I think the way, if I'm right in saying you do the teleport system, is we're going to need two signs there uh, to stop the water coming out. Soul sand, and we can go straight up. But obviously, we need to remove that block of water at the top so that it can flow down, fill it. So we just need to go get some kelp, some signs, and some soul sand, and we are uh, good to go. I actually have the soul sand. Oh, nice. All right, signs and kelp. Look at me go. We've just developed so much as a, as a Minecrafter, haven't we? Look at that. Yeah. So we've now got a place where we can easily... I'm going to play some more torches so we don't get, like, mobs dropping on us from above. Uh, we've now got a way to... Obviously, we can just spelunk off by jumping. We actually don't need this waterfall here anymore. Um, it probably would be good to keep that, actually. You know, as a backup way in case this breaks for whatever reason, me placing a torch. But now we can jump off whenever we want and we can take that to get back up. Yes. All right. Um, you guys fancy a family friend? Well, actually, you know what? Um, because I've already got two of the guys who buy uh, the good good off me, I don't actually need another guy who does composting. So... I'm going to try and get myself an actual good enchantment off this. A.K.A. Silk Touch. So, hand... Put that there. And I'm going to place that there. I'm going to hold this. You're going to give me... Smite 5. Damn. You're either going to give me Silk Touch. Sweeping Edge 3. Damn, they're three. That, 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 that's a really good one as well. Uh, Curse of Binding? No. Listen, you're either going to give me Silk Touch or something good that I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'll let that slide. I know a lot of people are going to be screaming at me going, Tom, do the paper train for bookshelves. It's so good. It really is. But trust me, when you get up and running with the melon system... Oh my god, the melon system! It's just so much better! I love it! This guy just wants to sell me bookshelves. Stop it! Tell me the good! No! Guys, I'll be right back when I get a good trade from him, okay? Yes! Okay, 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 this is really good. This is really good. I can actually sell him paper straight off the bat to lock that in. I now only need a few more and a book to actually get that trade secured. But this is a big W, boys. This is a big W. We've already got it. So now... If I just let myself out in a sneaky little fashion. Uh, I, what the hell am I doing? Okay, let me out. There we go. All right. Now, what we can do is we can actually get the ice for the path in the nether. All we got to do is, like, make another pickaxe. It could be iron with silk touch on it. And then we can go make it compact ice. And we can go scoot it through the nether much quicker if we need to. And it's just useful for everything in general. Plus, the axe is for collecting the melons. Because the melons are going to be the currency of our kingdom. Um, so yeah, you are now trading, which is good. I can get the Silk Touch book. Everything's good. Good. Everything's good. I'm organized. Oh, oh, right. Okay, listen. I'm very stocked <laughs> right now on supplies. I've got a lot. So what I decided to do is get a bit of a supply run going, uh, of which I've just realized we need to make some sort of easier way of getting over to this. Whether we build a bridge, whether we use lily pads, I don't know. I don't care. We need some sort of system. But I have, uh, I've done quite a few, uh, trades over here and brought quite a bit of wood to get uh, some cash money in our pockets so my gentlemen friends uh, you you buy beetroots right but i don't think i want to do this trade because the beetroots just suck even though i can sell them and i have some i just don't know i want to do that trade i think i always want to make sure it's like either potatoes or this now can i afford this i can getting you closer to buying the melons aren't i right now you i can buy sticks man i don't think i've got a lot of sticks but guess what son is a lot of sticks i made earlier boom this is why we really need to get them, like, infected by zombies. Because the quicker we get them infected by zombies, the more... The, 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 the cheaper everything is. Right, give me my trades. Yes. Oh, look at that. Yes. Okay. Now give me one. Silk touch book, baby! Oh, we're in! This changes everything! Like, literally everything. Okay, now you? Okay, now if you sell me a melon, I'm in business. Wait, but, uh, six pumpkins for one. This is good. This, this, you might not think it, but this is good. I have, I think I have pumpkin seeds down there. If not, I can go get them. Not a problem. And then this is good because then we just, we need to get you infected and then we're going to make it a one-to-one -one trade and we are stonking in the, in the currency. All right now, I'm going to, you're going to sell me some more of these. You might not think you want to, all right? You might not think it's the, the trade of your lifetime, my friend, but you're going to, all right? More of these. Okay, more. Don't even, don't even tell me you've run out, you've run out of trades. I won't, I won't accept it. I like that. Some more sticks. Beautiful. All right, sell me more. How many? Okay, I've got 11. Now, I've got the silk torch that I can use for the pickaxe, uh, for another pickaxe. And I've actually, have I got enough here? Ooh, I was going to say, I don't actually have enough to make another book. The reason why is I need some more cows. 
I'm gonna put you in there. I'm gonna put like uh, I'm gonna put you in there. You in there. Uh, everything's good. I need to be right back because I need to kill these guys. Yay! All right, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I only I only need, like a select few. Oh, why why have so many of you spread? All right, I'll sweep an edge. You wait. Isn't there more in here? No. That, that's perfect. That's all I need. Okay, now I need books. Yeah, I'll take six books. Why not? Uh, go back up. Get another silk touch, and then I'm gonna make two items. All right, you are going to buy all this paper. Yeah, you are. You're going to love it. It's going to be the best trade of your life. Look at that. Nice. What else are you going to trade me? Show me. I forgot. Uh, Smite 3. That's terrible. Oh, but this guy does the book trade. That's the book. Yeah, the book, the book trade's the book trade's not too bad, but he's reduced his prices. Only five. All right, now we've got two Silk Touch books. This is great. I don't really care about that one. This will come in handy. I, I, will, I will admit it will eventually come in handy. Not right now, but it will. Oh, do I need to place this... Oh, no. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Now, you. Uh, tell me sticks. <laughs> tell me more sticks. All right, listen. I'm, a, I'm, not, I'm not obsessed. All right? Just a man who likes sticks. All right, 15. And you are going to actually sell me these pumpkin pies. You might be like, why have you just done that? One for the XP. And two, if he levels up. <gasps> emeralds! Yes! Oh, my God. We're there. We're there. Uh, no, I, meant, I, meant, I didn't mean to say emeralds. I meant to say... Um, what's it called? What's it called? Melons. There we go. Sorry, I got, <laughs> got there eventually. I was trying to say melons that entire time. Oh, the chair. Oh, my God. We're going to be rolling in the stonks. I'm rolling in the stonks. Okay. So, what materials have I got here? Right. I have no diamonds left. Am I really going to have to put silk touch on this? I should really just wait to get to level 30 and then put it on this. But, uh, you know, you know me. I can't really, I can't, I can't, I can't really wait. Right. So, I'm going to put this with that. That is fine with me. Oh, no, not, wait, I'm not, I'm not doing it on this. Why am I down here? I need an anvil. Thanks, this is what I was looking for. Right, I need this, and I need that. Four. That doesn't bother me. Silk touch, that is more than, that, that's more than good. Right, now we've got fortune on that. So I need to make, one, two, three, a little iron, iron pickaxe. I know, I know it seems like a waste, but I feel like it's just worth doing now. There we go, and i got silk touch pickaxe. Sweet! All right, now, watch this. Watch this. I haven't got efficiency on it, so it's not that good because like, you can't do it instant. But look, now instead of it breaking into different pieces, I get one every single time. And luckily, I planted all these early. Here's some. Here's some I made earlier, and I'm gonna I'm gonna absolutely maximize the amount of these. Like this forest area, I might actually fully clear it out to put more of these in. Like, look at that. If, let, let, let's hypoth Oh, we've got. Oh, I forgot about the other melons. I've still got up top. <gasps> oh my gosh. We're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be flying through the XP levels. We're gonna be flying through the melon melon sales, and we are just gonna be stonking. I'm a genius. And then when I've got a villager with the good trade I won, and I put him in his forever home, we're just set. We're, we're so set. Watch out, boys! It's me, the rich man here, ready to uh, make a trade. Hey, what's up? What's up, my boy? Look at that! Oh my God! Look at the XP come in. Look at the emeralds come in. What else are you gonna trade? What are you gonna trade? What's next? Suspicious chew? I don't need that. All right, what's that? Let me just open up this with my melon supplies. Listen, I know you're not going to want to keep trading me. That's fine. What else are you going to sell? Golden carrots? Golden carrots. That is. Yeah, boy. So there we go. Got like the pog food supply. But what I need you to do actually now is I need him to get the similar trade. So what's your first? I'm going to break that. I'm hoping I haven't. I've not traded this guy. Have I? Your first trade is like potatoes. So we need like a potato trade. Or, or, or of something similar. What have you got? Potato trade and beetroots? No, we don't. We don't want beetroots, I believe. Well, give me another one. I don't, I, I don't want beetroots. I like potatoes and bread. I can copy that guy, then we're set. Potatoes and wheat? Kind of, kind of a, it kind of works, but just to play it safe, I'm going to try and get potato and bread. Nope. Okay, this, guy's, this guy hasn't got the memo. Well, take the job. Uh, carrots and that? Can I do that? I think I think you might work. Okay, so I'm going to buy bread. Nice. That'll level him up. Drop the bread. And the bread's really good because you can use it for uh, the villager breeding. <gasps> he buys he buys those. That's good. Right, now I need to buy this. I've got pumpkin pie. So that's a good source of food as well. Like, real, bloody hell, we got loads. That's a really good source of food. Okay, lock him back in. And uh, we could actually do with starting to get our melon, uh, not melon production, our pumpkins on. Because this guy buys them. He buys them. And he buys them. So yeah, we could actually we could actually do get some trades on. Uh, so let me go see if I've got some pumpkin seeds. Now, I could I 
could swear we've got pumpkin seeds. Like, oh, surely got pumpkins or something. Like, have I really not got one single pumpkin seed? I know I've seen them, so I know, like, where to find them, so it's not really a problem. But I'm convinced we had. Really? Really? It's trying to say I had no pumpkin seeds. This is a joke. This is a farce. This is unbelievable. So, uh, I, I, I find myself at this stage of the game needing a pumpkin. So, luckily... Where those villagers actually are when I go and collect another one now. Um, I can actually pick some more up on the way. And you know what? One sec. Just going to do a quick uh, run on through here. Grab myself another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. And what we're going to do um, is right now, this is our priority. Seeing as though we've got two guys trading already, we are going to work on uh, flattening this area out. And from probably about that tree there, all the way to the end tree there, this is going to be a sea of melons and pumpkins, all right? Uh, you, might, you might be like, no, Tom, don't do it. It's a lovely forest. But listen, this is industrial grade growth, okay? We need it. We can get rid of it at a later day, but for now, we need the industrial grade growth. Trust me, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. You're going to look up from above and it'll be a sea of melons and we're going to be rich and we're going to look back on life and be like, God, do you remember how it all began? Where it all started? Doing crappy enchantments in an enchantment room or whatever it, you know, whatever it's called. No, this is... This is the 200 IQ alpha alpha man status view of doing this. Oh, yes. All right, there you go. There's a pumpkin. And there's actually a few pumpkins, which means with all our bone meal, we can get the mass production of emeralds going. Hell, mother trucking. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's loads. Oh, wow. Okay, this is good. This is really good for our cause. I am a happy, happy Tom right now. Do you know what? I'm going to leave one just for the just for the people of the town who... Don't live here anymore because I've nicked them all. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, in position. Here you go. I'll leave the gate open. I'm not sure. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. Yeah, I did. Wow, that's so good. Like when you let them through, they really do like actively be like, right, time to go do something. Oh my god, he's, he's a man on the ledge. Bro, get down. What are you doing? You insane bastard. All right, um, I'm gonna need some blocks just to. Oh, actually. Yeah, if he's if he's gonna be part of the Huntmaster six thousand uh, area, let's do that along here. So let's do just flatten this out so he can't climb up it. Like this. Okay, and then we'll get some dirt. Just flatten this area out a tad, and yeah, this can be home to the Huntmaster six thousand. I, I might even give him the name tag of that because I think it's a great name and I think he'll really appreciate it. Right, so you need that in there. What he does also need is beds. So I guess I could just oh wait, he got in. Uh, go for it, mate. I'm gonna go over there. Go for it. I'm gonna put a bed in there with you. Don't worry about it. You good? You good? Nope. It's fine. This way. This is where you live now. This is it. This is the. This is the confines of your space. Not much to do. There's nowhere to go. There's no escaping. As far as I'm aware. And yeah, that's fine. Wait, if I put that in the middle. Wait. Oh God. I've locked myself out. If I put that on that one there. Does that mean? Yeah, I can then get get, get across all of them, car. It's a universal one. Can you trade? You bastard, no. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? Right, I'm going to go get one more guy. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to plant all these pumpkins. And I have 44 pumpkins to plant. <gasps> That's a lot of pumpkins. That is a lot of pumpkins. I just don't understand why you're actually not replenishing your trade. Hmm, part of me's intrigued as if, like, something's going on with him. Because I think, I feel like everyone else is. Oh, wait. Wait, if he replenishes his trade, he might give us a melon sale. Oh! Heck yes! Give me those trades, you saucy man! What else are you going to give me? Come on. Cake? I don't mind cake. Thanks for that, bro. But yeah, I've got a feeling that either this is not his actual trade post, or he's just not replenishing. I think I might have to move him. I don't, I don't, think, he's a, I don't think he's a happy camper. Yeah, I don't, think he's getting, I don't think he's getting access to the block for some reason. Um, get some more, more sticks. Sure, why not? I've got 18 now. Oh, I can actually sell you some. That's a terrible trade. Go away. Okay, uh, let's drop this off. Drop the carrots off. Pumpkin seeds me pumpkins. I'll be back with one more so we can get the Hump Master 5000 um, getting rock and rolling. Be right back. But as I, again, tunnel along here, you know, just taking this Hump Master Ma Mistress 7000 home, it does make me think. It's good what we've got set up, but it could be better if we infected them with zombies. 
And for that, I need to find another temple. Or a fortress, sorry. And the fact that we've still not found one is really grinding on my gears. Uh, this is frustrating. This is really frustrating. Like, if I can... Let's say this. If I can get mending from a, a villager, right? And we put the mending on our book. Okay? Uh, uh, sorry, m the mending book on our pickaxe that we've got. Then we'll go mining in the nether, right? And what we'll do is we'll go down, down to like the very bedrock of nether so we can travel super far in the nether and then we'll just pop out in the middle of nowhere and then see if like a thousand blocks in the nether like if there's a temple nearby but along the way we'll try and find like ancient debris at the same time and then we'll get fully kitted out with ancient debris that sounds to me like a bit of a plan it's stressful because i just cannot believe i've spent this much time in the nether and still not found one it is it's kind of crazy now right um i know you're gonna want to think you want a job and everything but you don't I'm going to put this over here. I'm actually going to trap you. I'm actually going to trap you in this. Yeah, you trap you in there. And then let's try and incentivize this guy to come over here. Oh, is he just going to run? Is he going for it? Oh, I thought he was going for it. What you could do... Oh, wait, oh. He's going for it. Hey, <laughs> whoa. Hey, the Hump Masters. Little did they know the life they were going to have. And that sounds like a replenish. Um, oh, I ain't got any melons. I have 33 melons. I knew I had some. Yeah, level 25. See, when you, this is just... Just from two of them, think how much I've earned already. Oh, wait, what? Oh my god, how did you get out? How did you get out? Wait, I literally can't understand how he got out. Wait, did my guy parkour along the edge and off the top? Oh my god, I've. I... What? Oh, the bed! Oh, it's the bed! It's the bed! It's the bed! Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I didn't think it was. I didn't think that was close. Oh my god, stop parkouring your way out of here, you freaks. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Sorry. I just was not expecting that. Oh, oh, where's he gone? Where's he gone? What? Oh, he's there. <laughs> Bro, you freaked me out. Get over there. Get in your goddamn bed. Do what you're supposed to do. Oh my god, mate. I, I honestly thought you just did like some teleportation then. Okay, let's put some touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Climb over. Yes, he's in. All right. So now, as far as I'm aware, you guys can't get out. All right, but what I can now make you guys do is because I think there's enough bed for all of you. Is if I do this, right? Bleh, 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 bleh. I don't even care if it's too much. It's fine. I'd rather them get it on. And I think if you actually put more than enough beds down, like more than enough, then they'll keep popping out babies. Yeah? You guys, you guys get you look like you're intensely staring at each other. You guys stare at each other. Don't tell me there's not enough beds. I know that I... Hey! Look at that. The Hump Masters. Away they go. They're beautiful. They're at it already. Right, I'm going to place loads of beds down. Place loads of beds down. Then that means I'm going to get loads of babies. And then I'm going to take the babies and put them to work. It's genius. It's absolutely genius. All right, nice. I'm going to extend this out a little bit. No, don't want to hit you. Right? I want this to be an abusive relationship. I want you guys to enjoy your stay here. Be happy. Breed. Pump. To your heart's content. What if they're already popping out another one? Okay. Wait, do you, you want more bread? Do you need more to get your hump on? I'll give you more. I think, I think the little kid might try and steal it, though. All right, so there's, there's them two, which is two. And then three, four, five, six, seven. So we can pop out another seven, potentially. Damn. Damn. Oh, 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 nice. All right, I'm liking it. Um, All right, so we can leave them to get their breed on, which is good. I know I was talking about the, me yeah, the melon farm and everything down there. Hmm, wait, let's see if they're, are they getting it on again? Is the baby watching them get it on again? I don't know. Hello, Want a bit more? I don't know. I think there might be a cooldown timer on it, actually. I thought I didn't know whether it was instant hump or part hump. I don't know, but hey, at least they gave a baby, popped a baby out, which is great. So I'm just going to let them, uh, I'm going to keep letting them do their thing. I would nick one of them straight away and try and get another villager. But I think what I'm going to do now is get the mending book. Because the moment we get the mending book, we're sorted. I just feel like there's so much stuff that I'm trying to multitask in my brain right now. Because we're villagers, like, you can spend forever, like, placing a, uh, trying to get the enchantments. It's like, place one, pick one up, place one, pick one up. But... As long as we've got breeding going, which is great, 
That's amazing. We need the mending because then we can go get netherite. Yep. Get that sorted. But we also need to make sure that we get our focus on with the pumpkin seed. So actually, let's jump down. Let's go and plant loads of pumpkins. Like a ridiculous amount of pumpkins. And then we'll go from there. Because then at least our supply is coming in. Even if we haven't got a one-to-one -one trade now, at least we've got a major supply coming in. All right. That's, that's them all planted now. Um, what I'm hoping is I've got enough bone meal to get them spruced up to get growing. It's so difficult because it's such a tiny, like, pixel that you've got to click. You can't just run over it dead fast like, way because you just, you'll just miss it. So, yeah, I'm hoping I've got enough to get these growing on my scale. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm also hoping that these ones here actually grow. If they don't, um, I don't really know. Oh, it is growing. Oh. So maybe I've just done a myth bust here in my video. You do not need pumpkins to have a water source. I think it's even the same with melons, you know. I don't think you need a water source for melons. Like, I really don't. See, this one's going to mess up because this one could grow that way. And that one could grow that way. So it te technically is like a double up one. That's why you should put them in one straight line. Plus the easy to, easy to harvest. But I don't know. I just want to be efficient and get these going straight away. Yeah. Well, apparently these guys heard that um, I was about to start stepping up in the world. They were like, quick, take him out now before he gets too strong. Because you, you guys are going to be you guys are gonna be screwed on a whole new level. Once I've got like all the armor, all the enchantments and everything rocking, I'm going to get to a point where I'm unkillable. Now, I'm not going to jinx it because, you know, I've very much done that a million times before. Um, but like, I'm going to be uh, a force to be reckoned with. Full netherite in. We're going to be kicking ass. Like, we're going to be kicking ass. Take names. Chewing gum. What is it? Chewing... Chewing gum, kicking ass, and I'm all out of gum. I have no idea. It's a Jute Nukem quote or something like that. But right, if we collect these to the very end, how much dirt have I got on me? 25. We can actually continue this on, even though I'm kind of ruining my area. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. We continue this on. Oh, you also want to try to assassinate me? Really? Let me stop. Let me just not. Surely you've learned your lesson by now. Double it up, double it up, double it up, up, double it up, and like that. Now, we have even more melons to grow. 42 seeds, 45. Nice. Very, very nice. Oh, there's another guy. There's another Enderman waiting to bring me a gift. Stop it. Leave, leave my people alone. Leave my people. Go okay, like that. And then bing bong, bing 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 bong, bing 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 bong bong. Nice. I've even got bone meal left over. Nice. Very good. All right, I think I've got enough blocks to be able to kind of like terraform this land uh, to be nice and flat for me to do what I need. I was going to keep it on this level, uh, but because I realized there's a big mountain to remove over there, uh, I thought, nah, I'll just raise it up. So I'm going to raise it all the way over to about here where we've uh, put our marker boundary down, so like there. And then I'm going to make it go all the way over to here. Keep it going. Nicely meets that block to the end. Oh, there's one, there's one that got left over from the... Uh, from the fire, I think I'm then going to level this off. So this all needs to go, which is a bit much. I do wish I had like an efficiency spade right now. This would be so much quicker rather than me painstakingly doing it uh, individually rather than just going like that. But I've got enough dirt in supply to be able to fill this all in and then get all the melons planted. I've only got 52 melons there. But again, it's like exponential growth. Every time we get one, we can plant more. Then 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 we can plant more. And I can even actually break those apart to get even more melons from it. So yeah, we can keep it going. But um, if my deducing of the theory is correct and I can actually um, not need water, then that means like we can just do a rover line like this all the way up. Like, okay, apparently we don't need water. If I do need to put it in, then I will channel it in, no problem. But, like, I think as long as the seed's actually on it and growing, um, then, it, yeah, it doesn't need water. It'll just, like, plonk one out. And because I've got the bone meal, I can kind of, like, set it into place. One set like this. Place them in. And then, yeah, well, we can do a test line like this. Shouldn't need the water once they're fully grown because they should just pop onto the other side. And then the way I'm going to do it to be even more efficient is I'm going to double up the melon collection by doing another row on this side like this. So you see, this one will grow this way, and then this one will grow that way. So if I do that over here, this, nope, I can go like this the entire way. See? 
Genius. Wait, did that one? Oh, no. I didn't place one down. And then I can just do that the entire way down. And these should pop across, and we should get even more. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, Look at that. I've proved the point. You do not need... Oh, okay. That proved the point way quicker than the others. But I've just proved the point that you don't actually need a water source to be able to grow melons. How cool is that? Like, if it weren't for you guys leaving comments in my stream views, I would have no idea of these things. But, yeah, these will now all grow. I I, I don't... I, like, I, okay. You had one job and you've gone the wrong way. But, to be fair, that is my fault. Uh, I'm going to need to do, like, a pumpkin line along here. Unless I do melon, 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 pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. I don't know. But I was going to do melon, pumpkin, melon, pumpkin, melon, pumpkin. Uh, uh, all the way across. And wicked. Um, I just need more of these. 24. And we are good to go. Put that in there. You're an imposter. Be gone, thought. And then all the way over. And we're doubling up everything we can create. This is so cool, man. Like we, We're going to be rolling in emeralds. We're probably going to have, like, in, in, in the next, like, three episodes or something, if we could kill the wither, like, a few times, we could, like, have a beacon with every effect coming out of it at every point. It'd be crazy. All right, I'm nearly through yet another hoe. So um, with, the, with the seeds planted, I'm going to go up top and see what the hump in hell has been going on. I was actually about to jump straight into that because I've been doing that for so long. But instead, we'll take the super fast transport system and uh, we'll make ourselves a quite, uh, quite a good penny. Look how many melons I've got and how many pumpkins I've got. Like, I got actual seeds for days and oh my gosh. Bloody hell, Huntmaster 5000s, you've been busy. Damn, son. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven? Lady Nora, um, what the hell's that noise? Oh, it's a pig guy coming through. Oh, my God. Um, I got that many to the point that it actually spawned an iron golem. Okay, well, that's wicked. Um, so, great success there. Uh, I'm going to need you guys to, yes, cash me in, baby. Cash me in. Oh, wait, you're expert. You're not trading me anymore? Oh, wait, did I sell them all? Oh, whoops, my bad. But yeah, give me all the XP. Look at this. Look how much XP I get from it. It's ridiculous. Okay, I got 60 on this one. Give me that. Beautiful. Give me give me some of them. Oh, no, I've got none left. Okay, that's it. Right, Um, you're going to probably sell me golden carrots. Yes, you are. Th three now, and you're not even infected. That's a good deal. I'm going to have so many make, uh, being grown down there, but I'm going to need to start taking some of you guys out to give you a job as this guy. Um, how many of these do I actually have spare jobs going? Right, I've got three of them, but we're going to need one of you in the first place to give us mending. So, who wants to volunteer as being the mending man? Because we're going to need you, and you're probably going to be the most important villager uh, at this point in time. Oh, this is a problem I've got now, because I've got so many villagers. I could technically give them all lecterns, and then keep every good trader get along the way. Now, I know it's expensive, but sharpness five as a guaranteed one is actually really really good so i think i might buy this lock it in again i know it's not the enchantment that i you know technically wanted but because i've got this this many of these guys sharpness five trade is now locked in with that gentleman there is there any spare beds going so let me in yeah, yeah you hook me up fight style nope i can't re monsters nearby oh my god <laughs> um you know what? The whole monsters nearby. I agree with that. There is definitely monsters nearby. I'm going to sleep at my house, but I'm going to come back with one, two, three, four, five, five lecterns. Even though I want composts, um, it'll give time for the melons and pumpkins to grow, and then we'll get um, like probably like feather falling out of these guys, mending out of these guys, all sorts. We'll uh, we'll be rocking and rolling. So, uh, but a Okay, Mr. Sharpness 5, you're now a famous man, man. You, you, you're so famous. I'm going to put it above your lectern. Sharp. Sharpness 5. That is very impressive. I'm actually glad we got that. Like, when we, we've got the book that we can put onto a weapon, because right now I'm just rocking Sweeping Edge, and it's pathetic. But hopefully, um, it won't take me too much longer to get... Oh, God. Um, I want that back eventually. My bad. Apologies. I'm going to go ahead and put you there. Um, I'm going to need mending. So, the quicker we can get mending, the quicker... <gasps> Uh oh. Uh oh. Is he gonna mess me up? Oh way up. Wait, does that mean they're all mad at me now? I don't know. I don't know if you can get away with hitting them once or not. But I honestly thought that guy was gonna mess me up. But um right. So anyway. Uh anyone wanna run into the corner and go get themselves a job? Go go. Go go now. Go go now. Not the little one. You go go now. Go go now. Get yourself a job. Get yourself a job, you bum. Get yourself a job, you bum. Oh, he got a job! No! No, no! 
What is it? Step strider. No, you're not having the job. Take the job off him. Take the job off him. Hey, th here's what I found earlier. Right, you stay in there. You stay in there. Listen, all right, the rest of your life. Boom, you're going to love it. Okay, um, now let's see how long it's going to take me to get this guy. Good job. Oh, the rinsing and repeating. Feather falling three. Ooh, that would actually be quite good. But the fact that I've got the luxury of all these guys, there's no point in me combining two. I might as well just make a completely new one. So uh, back the hell up. Ooh, well, looky here, looky here, looky here. We managed to get fortune three. Only problem with this is I don't think I have the currency of emeralds to be able to trade this guy to lock this in. I'm going to have to jump down and go get some paper. But there is. There's a fortune three trade. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Right. Look, I need you to move over there so I can lock myself in here with a, a block. Right, I don't know. What do. Right. Listen, push you away. Right. Push you away. Break that. Put that in there. Get my water back. Whatever you do, don't lose that trade. It's pretty good. That. It's pretty good. Um, now, I've been gone a little while, so I'm a little bit worried that this is no longer locked in. And it is. What, two, three? Okay, perfect. All right. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, I'm actually not going to sell you any more of the paper uh, just because you're now locked in. So, my friend, uh, you are very helpful. Very helpful. Fortune. Fortune. Three. Yeah. Nice. All right. What are you trading? Nothing just yet. Okay. So, let's begin the spin of the wheel to see what we can get with you, my friend. Okay. What's our first one going to be? Let's show that on the record. Boom. Fire protection. Hell nah. Yes. Mending, ladies and gentlemen. We managed to get it. Absolutely brilliant. Now, I think if I break that because I locked it in, I can move him up and then trap him in place there. But this is now where we really, really change up the game. We've got a mending book. Obviously, I can't afford it just yet. And he is way too expensive. I could, I could probably get one that is way cheaper. But because we're going to get to a point where we've got unlimited emeralds, this is great. So we've now got... We managed to get mending out of this guy, which is a great success. Let's throw that on there. Mending. Mending. We've got mending. we got flame. we got fortune three and sharpness five. I will say they're pretty good. And this only took me, say, maybe 10, 10, 15 minutes or something like that. I've done it before where I've, like, for, like, half an hour, tried to get different sort of, like, fortune threes or, embrace, or sharpness fives and never got it. So this is great. Um, and then we could turn these guys, if we put them into boats when they wake up, um, into these and then move them over. And we can have these guys doing composting as well. So I might actually make this space a little bit bigger and uh, get rid of this guy because I feel like he's going to be a bit of an issue and end up killing me. Now, are you guys ready to feast your eyes on something absolutely beautiful? But there's one fail. There, there is actually one fail there. Are you ready? Get ready for it. I'm going to like approach the edge, zoom in. And reveal the mega farm. <laughs> and there's the fail. Uh, I didn't get rid of uh, a one seed block. And uh, unfortunately. Or a, a little seed. Or, what was it? Piece of, I didn't get rid of a piece of grass. And it didn't fully grow up. But we're now going to go. And must like harvest all of these. With a silk torch. Which is actually nearly dead. So we need to hurry up and get that mending on this ASAP. Um, and see how much we can get from it. Because, what was it? It was 30... I think it... No, it was 64, like, full stack per run. Yeah, so that was a good amount. Look how many extras we've got around the side now as well. Oh, my gosh. I could probably remove these ones and just harvest these. But that is so unfortunate. Please grow. I might, I might actually wait until this grows to, like, have a, you know, like, a full, clean, fresh amount. And... Uh, wait, do we have a chest around here? No, I don't even have a chest. I was going to say, it would be quite nice to, like, see if we could fill it. But, right... Are you ready for this? Look how many, look how many we've got. This is ridiculous. But all right, so I'm going to fill up this so you can see where we're going to start off at. All right, I've got my four stacks ready. I will collect all this. Oh, I'll tell you what, should we, this might sound like interesting if we super fast speed it up. You'll just hear the, but I'm, this pick up, this, uh, this axe may not actually last long enough. So uh, without further ado, three, two, one, brr away. The burring comes to an end because I've only got 12 spots. Or 12, 12 spots. 12 uses left. Oh my gosh. Look how many I have got. This is ridiculous. Like, I, I, and this took me forever because I don't have efficiency five. But when I've got efficiency five, I can literally run up here going like this and just popping them out the ground. And then we just go up there and sell them. Like, I'm telling you. People say, oh, the book method and all this. and Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. But this is so much more fun. 
and so much more rewarding. And just look at it. It's, it's, the magnitude of it is insane. So yeah, this is going to break. So I'm not going to go do that. Let's go and sell the rest we've got. And then um, what I'm thinking, just because I'm an absolute idiot, is, right? <laughs> I've only got 12 uses left on this. But I think by trading the rest of these melons that I've actually got, I will get to level 30. I'm going to take the silk touch off this off this axe, right? And then going to go put a level 30 enchantment on it in the hopes it gives it efficiency. Then I'm going to put mending on it. Then I'm going to trade more melons to those guys and basically revitalize this, this axe from being the potato that it's about to break to be. So if we take all that XP, right? Take a little bit. We'll, we'll take a little bit more. Le level 30. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is good. Now, how many emeralds have I got? 33. And what do I need? Do I need 36 or something for amending? Come here. How much do I need? 36. I do need 36. All right, let's trade. Let's trade a few more. One, two, three. Yeah, oh, no, I need one more. No, you won't trade me. You. I don't, really waste, I don't want to waste any XP because we can use this for the mending situation, right? Now, you give me this mending book. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. Very good. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, we go on down to the underground sun. Imagine if I landed on a lily pad and just died. That would be a, that'd be a really unfortunate series of events. Just saying. I'm going to check, actually, right now. If I actually try to put that on it, how will it let me? Oh, it only costs three to do that. So, we can actually save that and give it more health. Um, I could also, by the way, if I wanted to, combine... Oh, there's another axe. Is it? I think it's downstairs. Give me some of that. We could actually combine this with this other axe we've got under... <gasps> These guys! These Endermen, man! They're ridiculous! They're actually ridiculous! I can't believe it. I'm actually going to silk touch it, because then I'll get it back. There you go. Oh, my God. Yeah, so look, we've got an axe there that I combined. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grindstone this down. I'm going to put a level 30 enchantment on it. <gasps> Oh my god, that is perfect. That is act. That it doesn't get much better than that. Wait, and then please don't tell me it's too expensive. This is so damn good. You don't understand. So we just switched out silk touch. Okay, on its own on a broken weapon for an efficiency four silk touch of breaking three mending. Okay, so this is now pogged out. But you might be like, but Tom, it's broken. It's 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 absolutely dead. Well, this is where the mending trading system comes in. I've still got crap loads of levels left, which is absolutely epic. But because I've still got so many of these pumpkins and melons, and I've got so many going back again, if I keep this weapon in my offhand slot now, when I trade these guys, this should maybe not fully fix it, but should put it, put it back into the running of actually being able to use it. So you, uh, actually, let's do this first. Trade. Look at that. So now I've got 117 left in it. So it's it's automatically back in the running. So rather than it being dead and out for the count, no, we're slowly but surely healing it back to a useful purpose. And then when it's maxed out, like fully like healed and everything, we'll just be absolutely laughing. And look, I got 46 emeralds. This is this, oh, this is so good because now I can actually buy another one of these. Again, I know it's so expensive. We need to do the whole, uh, you know, get a blah blah blah. What's it called? Um, Zombie villager infected it, but I can't be asked dealing with the whole going to the nether right now. I've just had a bit of a nightmare with that. Um, we can take this, uh, being our god tier pickaxe, into there. The Desmondo 2 2 has efficiency 5, unbreaking 3, fortune 3, and mending. That is now the best it could possibly be, which is an absolute W. We now got to grind towards getting, like, you know, mending on the rest of these things. And even though that already has mending, so that's a win. But what I can do now is get to level 30. Strip the enchantments off that, for example, and just re-enchant everything for the first time. Even the shovel, even though it's broken, it doesn't matter because I don't have the diamonds to make new tools. I just simply don't. Like, uh, do I even own a single diamond? I <laughs> I don't own a single diamond. Like, tough times never last. Bruno, listen, mate, it's all been worth it. We're into the riches now, bro. We're into the riches. We're like at that end game quality stuff. So... Oh my gosh, we can... Oh, we can actually use this! I just, I just realised I've got the mending on it now. So I can actually now pick up the rest of that whilst they're replenishing their trades and watch how fast this goes. Look how much quicker that is compared to earlier. And don't forget, this is only efficiency 4. So if we can get a book that's, say, efficiency 4 or efficiency 5 up top, then we'll enchant put it on top of this and we'll be absolutely solid. Like, we'll be... It's game over for ever needing any more tools 
it's game over for like ever than breaking because we'll just be able to fix them so easily up top and this allows us to focus on whatever we want to build and whatever we want to do in the series i told you there is a method to this madness it is a long process to do but when you get it going it is so much better and think about it the more of these farms i have and the more of the, uh, the actual uh, farmer villages that i have up top and the cheaper the trade like the moment we actually get them to be a one-to-one -one trade because we got them infected it's going to be incredible like absolutely incredible we're there we, we've we've fully achieved what we wanted to achieve and then some so yeah let's go sell some more let's get some more xp into this axe and then um yeah let, let, let's maybe i don't know i, I need to, i need to assess where I, I am with this with this episode maybe 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 uh we try and see if it's worth going back to the nether again i really don't want to jinx it going back there but i don't know man i don't know this is just this is too good like, it's the best method. And I get the books, I get these other ways and sticks and all that sort of stuff, but it's just so, it's just so good and so efficient, man. I love it to pieces. Oh, yes. Here comes the money. Boom. 22 emeralds. Boom. 34 emeralds. Look at all the XP I get. Oh, 44 emeralds. Oh, 51 emeralds. Oh, the crowd goes wild. What do you even trade again? Oh, yeah, Silk Touch, you're right. You are actually useful. I'm sorry. I, I kind of forget about you. You guys were like the founding fathers. Never forget, all right? Never forget. You guys were the founding fathers. Oh, no, look at this. Wait, wait who are you trying to have sex with? That's, that's kind of awkward. They've got like a they've got like a love romance from a distance that are, they're unfortunately allowed to have. But, oh, my God, they popped out three. Oh, wow, I don't even know it's that. I could technically, like, I could technically give one of these guys an actual job real quick. So, like, if I put that there, make it difficult for him to get to. Just go around it. Get, in you go, in you go. And then trap him. Ah! No, 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 trap him. All right, there you go. This guy can stay in here. And then with the power of water, I'll push you back. Get back, you bastards. You're a, you're a, look at him. He's a, he's raging against the machine. He's not a protester. There you go. He's trapped in. These guys can keep breeding because he's not taking up a bed. And, oh, well, oh, this is awkward. You're going to have to, when they, <clears throat> when they grow up. Yep, that's going to be a thing. Sorry about that, bro. All right, nice. Let's get these um, bean melon ones. Get these guys trading back and forth. And we are going to be golden. This is good. Do I dare now, seeing as I've got mending on this? Do I try and quickly find? Do I try, do I try and quickly find another fortress? I shouldn't do it, should I? <laughs> should, I, should, I, I know I shouldn't do it, because it's going to go wrong and I'm going to die. Oh! <laughs> the stress this is giving me is too damn high. Close to like a total of like 800 blocks later. What are we at? 500! 1,600. Ladies and gentlemen. I found one. There is a Minecraft God. This place does actually exist. I'm not on a corrupted save. And I freaking found one. I I'm saying this right now. For me to actually get back. I I obviously, I can get back. Doing like the whole like mining underneath and trying to find Netherrack. Uh, or, whatever it's called. Netherrack? No. Uh... Ancient debris, sorry. Trying to find that on the way back. I can do that. But, oh my god, my sanity. Is that a bat? Wait, is this a bastion or a temple? No, this is a... Yes! A terrible fortress. Ba break your way into the... Oh, it's massive as well. Right, take some screen scratch. Screen... Sorry, I can't pull myself together right now. Take some screenshots of where we are. Okay. Now, all I need is nether warts. Right, let's put this on. Let's organize this properly. Okay. Now, it's at this point... That I was going to be like, right, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, bye. Um, and, and explore this place. But sack that. Like, actually sack that. And Orion made it is reading this like, Tom, why did you not just cut this into two episodes? That's just hell freaking no, all right? This has taken up too much of my goddamn time. Too much of my goddamn soul that I need to find you. Oh, no. This is hell. Wait, what's going on here? The blaze spawn is in lava? Oh, that's shit. <laughs> Oops. Okay. I need to find... Nether warts, and I need a blaze rod. And then we're getting those things, and then, yes! Yes! Oh, wait, up. <gasps> I, um, I know that seems like such a weird thing to be shocked about, but, like, let's be honest, I don't <laughs> I don't really have any diamonds at the moment. <laughs> it's, just pretty, it's pretty good. Um, oh, my God. Uh, do I have any wood? No! The Crimson Forest was back there. I could combine all this gold. I haven't, I haven't got enough wood. Um, all right, exactly. We'll take that. We'll take this. Oh, Yes! All right, eat some apples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Oh, you want the smoke? Oh, you really want the smoke? Listen, I, I, I will I, I will drop you and your family lineage to the goddamn ground, mate. 
Back, just back it up. You don't want the smoke. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh no, no. Oh, ho, ho. absolute W pog right there. Right, what do I need here? What is actually something I don't need? Okay, I don't need that. Wait a bit. I'm gonna say we can take that in case we can like transport home. A saddle's quite rare. Right, do I, shall I leave the books? Shall I leave the books. There's something here. Maybe I don't need the emeralds. The book's quite valuable. No, nope, take the emeralds. What am I talking about? Right. right no, no, no. Get, take the nether warts, Tom. Take the damn nether warts. Okay. So, I'm going to leave the composter. Because that is just like random blocks. I'm going to take all of it. Now, I'll, I'll leave one piece. I always I always end up leaving one piece at these places. Just because then if I ever need to come back for like some sort of creeper explosion or something, I can do this stuff here. Aha! You're what I need! Oh, 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 oh. Yo, what I need, yo, what I need, drop what I need, drop what I need, drop what I need. I will not go down like this. Oh my god, there's a fucking army! Oh my god, there's an army! I need to get this off. Oh my god, there's a fucking army chasing me. What the fuck? Oh my god. What the hell? What's that about? Why is there so many above me? Bloody hell. I weren't expecting that. Oh my god. Right, I've, I've not got that many golden apples left. I need to be careful. I need to make space. Right, I'm gonna get rid of the, the boat. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Come on. As long as they don't jump down on me, we're good. I, 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 damn, stop. 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 Jesus. Okay, I haven't got many arrows. All right, we need to, I think I need to fully heal here. I didn't even get a blaze rod yet. Damn it. Right, let's move that up. Let's get that off the hot bar. Put that in. I'm going to fire one at them. Yes, there's, there's a blaze rod. That's what we need. Yo, back down. Come down, come down, come down. Oh my god, like, what is going on? Why is there so many of you guys? Where are they coming from, though? Where's the spawner? Oh shit, I didn't... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm good. No, sack it, I'm not risking it. I'm just not risking it. It's not worth it, is it? Come on. We've come all this way. I need one more, though. That's the problem. I need blocks. Even if they're bone blocks, I don't care. There's one. Ow. This is tense. Right, I got two. I got to. I could re realistically do... Oh, is there one down there? No. I could realistically do with one more. I'd be like, why, Tom? I just could, alright. Have I searched this? Yeah, I've been here. Well, there's some gold nuggets back and some iron armor. Nice. Oh. Don't do it. Give me the drop. Yes, three. Alright, we can leave now. Yeah, we can leave now. I'm comfortable to leave. I've got enough. Nice, four. Even more comfortably to ready to leave. Take that armor. Take that, we'll take that. Give me that. Do I want to take the iron? If I need to make a... Maybe. Are they all just on this roof? Oh my god, yeah they are. Don't you fucking dare, bitch. Got you. Good. Back up there. Whilst I've got this animal as well. Ow. Damn, they're messing me up. In triple attack. There we go. Now we're going. Now we're going. Now we're going. We got six. We got six. We're good. Don't even care. We got six. We're out of here. We got six. We are out of here. On fire. 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 Thank you. Got seven. All right. We got seven. Oh my god. Flipping heck, man. What a journey. And is this the blaze spawner? Uh, yeah, I'm going to screenshot this coordinate. I'm going to screenshot the coordinate so I know what I'm doing. And now we can journey back. All I know is that I need to just mine south. So, um, I say we get over to this land here. And we dig under. We go to bedrock level. And we just get home, okay? That's what we're doing. We're getting home. Oh, hang on a minute. This is interesting. This, this is where I've been tunneling back from. And it seems I've connected onto another tunnel. Now, do I risk taking this the entire way and in the in the hopes that 
it brings me out to where I need to be. Oh, look at this. Is this, is this, the, is this the tunnel I took on the way here? It may just well be. I'm going to double it up, like, just because then I can see if I can actually get any more, uh, any debris from it. But where the hell is this bringing me out? Like, is this, go wait, if, if this is going under, that surely there's got to be a reason, right? Surely all above this has to be lava. Yeah, this is, the, this is the tunnel I must, I must have started. Yeah, because the, we've gone under it. Have I actually managed to find my own path back? This is brilliant. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give up finding the debris though. If we could find Twitter, that'd be pretty sweet. Come on, keep broke off. Whoa, 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 Oh, I was in that for a long time then. I don't think I'm going to regen. I don't think I'm going to regen in time. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to eat again. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God, man. How did... I didn't even notice how that started pouring out the way it did. Bloody hell, I thought that was it. Everything we just put in the work for then. I thought it just got out the bloody window. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought I fell for the fucking floor. Right. Now, please tell me. This leads to a staircase going up. Where do I need to be going? Fourth? I need to be at 450. I'm just going to hope that if I run down towards this. This looks like it's taking me towards 50. This now goes up. Oh, I've made my way back. I can't believe it. I can't. I literally thought that was it. I thought everything we'd worked towards this entire pissing episode was gone. The weapons, the netherite. Oh my god. I... I, I if we wouldn't have take, brought an, brought up, wait, how do I get out of here? Oh, is it just over there? I've got to go. Is this where, is this where I came in on myself and then went backwards? I think it was. I'm going to take a little bit more health for my pickaxe. Right, I'll sack it. I'll take a little bit more. Might as well re redeem myself here coming out with like, kind of like max gear. <laughs> oh my gosh, but I think I may have done it. I think I may be getting out of the never here. As long as I don't set myself on fire at all now, I think we're good. Ready? Get me out. Pop me out. Here we are. Oh, this guy actually wants to scrap, really. Imagine if I popped out with like one HP. And then wasn't... Is it this where I was like popped out the ceiling? Wait, I'm going to remember this. So if I actually follow that path all the way down still, right, and enter that way, that should lead me technically, if I'm right in saying, all the way to the nether fortress. And then, is it... Is this where I, did I drop down on myself here? Let me go up. Keep her going, keep her going. Wait, is this is this the portal? Is this the portal home? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! I don't think it's the same one. But where, where's this where's this gonna bring me out? Where's it where's this bring me out? Oh <laughs> No way it brings me out of this portal! And there's a boat ready waiting for me. Oh my gosh, guys. After all these episodes, episode 10, the longest episode to date, the craziest episode, we've had all the villagers and the madness, the fact that I've been, I started recording this episode at 10 a.m. this morning. It is currently seven minutes to six. Seven minutes to six p.m. at night. That, that is crazy. I can't believe it. Get these blocks out my hand. I, I don't even want to carry them. We have finally returned with blaze rods. We can now, I've actually got no golden apples left to even turn the zombies uh, turn the like the turned villages that we're going to get but we have got exactly what we need to complete the task at hand in starting to get the one-to-one -one emerald to melon pumpkin to melon trade we can start doing enchantment uh, sorry uh potions which is uh you know massive towards our actual like Blah, 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 stuff that I have to do here. Uh, I can't even know what it is. Brew a potion. Uh, do the Furious Cocktail. All of it. Oh, my gosh. And we came out with five diamonds. So, do you know, do you know what I'm actually going to celebrate? I'm actually going to celebrate and do right now. Get me get me over here. Oh, and the bee's still alive. Oh, you love to see it. Look at all the melons. Have they grown whilst they've been gone? No, they won't have done really, will they? I've been nowhere near the chunk whilst it's been loaded. 
But do you know what? This this can actually let me celebrate and do... Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> Apologies. Listen, it, uh, listen, this... I feel like if there was any ever deserving time of me coming crashing in, now's the time. But do you know what this actually allows me to do? Right? If in my blast furnace, I don't have a single bucket of lava or anything, do I? Have I got any coal? Okay, I've got six coal. That'll do. Do you know what we could do here? Right? Is if we use... There's not a single crafting table here. What's going on? Right, turn that all into bars. That's fine. Okay. Um, this goes there, which allows me to make this. Oh, brewing stand for the win. Right, I've got brewing stand now. That is absolutely WW dots. Right, put that down. Do I have any bottles? I have two bottles. I'm going to make some more bottles. Okay. Um, yep, that'll do. Just the three. Do I have any water? No, I'm just going to fill it. I don't even care about actually making potions. Because I don't... Uh, it is what it is. One, two, three. All right. I just want to fill them up so it's ready to go for the next episode. All right. We're going to launch them into there. Bing, bong, bing. Beautiful. All right. Um, right. I'm going to put this into there. And I'm gonna, I'm actually, no, not, not that. Not that. Damn it. I've done the wrong way. Blast furnace. That, that. This can get blast furnace in. All right. And then I swear I had more. I swear I had one more piece left. Did I not? <gasps> Wait, I... I had a netherite ingot just chilling all this time in there. I didn't even realize. What the hell? We've just been holding on to this thing. There you go. Three ancient debris there. So I've got the 19 in there smoking away. Throw that in. If I take out that straight away, I can make another one. Boom. And that allows me, even though this needs, obviously, uh, the efficiency five throwing on it. Um, this allows us to upgrade this with that. To get a netherite axe, ladies and gentlemen. Booyah! That's what I'm talking about. And then obviously we've got all these scraps that are going to turn into it. We've got all this gold to make us into the nether, uh, nether ingots. Um, netherite ingots. And I've got all this gold still left over. Oh my goodness me. We've brought back the armor. Oh, we've brought... We've now got one of every armor. We've got the gold. We've got, oh my gosh, I've got the saddles for days. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. Look at the loot I've brought back. This is this is mad. I've got the I've got the I've got the diamond, the gold, and that. That is just wicked. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. And we got the nether warts. Then we can get that growing whenever we want. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. I, let me have a good night's sleep real quick. Let me have a good night's sleep. <sighs> Before we do what needs to be done, let's make sure we can celebrate by eating a steak. God damn, does this taste good? So I'm no longer going to die. You know what? Even, I'm even going to give Bruno some. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. Sorry, I've not fed you in a long time. I've been gone a while. I know, I know, I know, I know. All right. I've now got all the netherite scraps. Okay. I'm going to combine it with the gold to make five netherite ingots. That is absolutely in through the, through the world right now. I can get full a full set of armor. I can, you know, I can get, get a sword going. I can get a spade going. We are in such a good position right now. It's unbelievable. We just need two more scraps, I think, to give us one more bar. Then we can technically do the boots, the legs, the chest, the helmet, the sword, because then that'll be five. And then if we want to do the shovel, you know, obviously we're going to need one more for that. But then if we also go ahead and make, which I just think with the diamonds remaining we've got, we should make, do I have any sticks? No. Let me go ahead and do a bit of a bing bong on this. Bing bong on that. I think it's fair to say we are making a diamond hoe. <laughs> I'm not going to put the netherite ingot on it yet until uh, until I get upgrades on it and stuff like that. But we have got the ability to upgrade it. We've got everything going on. We are we're in such a good position, and I think it's time. I know we started this off uh, like a long time ago. Ten episodes we've been going now, and this will be the ninth, uh, the ninth side of the of the video. But I think it has to go to Jen. Wilson, because Jen... Oh, oh, wait, I put it on the wrong uh, the wrong line. Uh, episode episode 9, Jen Wilson, because of you, with your comment on screen right now, you bagged yourself the £500... Or do, sorry, dollar uh, Amazon gift card. Congratulations. You've made it onto the wall of legends. You are amazing. Thank you very much for your support. If you guys want a chance to get on the wall, not to win £500, uh, that's the whole, like, in case I die, there's now a bounty on my head. Um, make sure you're subscribed, leave a like rating, and make sure you leave a comment because this could be you on this wall of legends because what a legendary episode this has been. I, I, I still quite can't wrap my head around the comprehension of 
what we've managed to do today. We've got the most insane farm that when we upgrade this even more so, we'll, we will just be able to brr our entire way through picking all these up. Wait, is it even... Is this axe actually even faster now because it's got netherite on it? I think it actually is. So I can now just run down, popping these up. I'm going to be able to turn the villagers to get the one-to-one -one trades. XP, emeralds, and, and mending is going to be a thing of the past. And then once we've got all the best enchantments and all the best trades that we want, we're going to create a beautiful, like, dwarven-style, hobbit-style uh, living quarters in these mountains with little holes with glass windows on and a stairwell going through to them all. But alas, guys, I must wrap up this insane episode. W's all round. If we could go for the most light ratings we've ever had on an episode today, that would be incredible. I don't know if you've watched the entire way for it. If you are one of the ones that stays till the very end, thank you for your support. Leave a like, click subscribe. Click subscribe. I can't, I can't believe I've been playing Minecraft for like eight hours straight to achieve what we've achieved today. But my God, have we made progress. Like we really, really have made so much progress that I can't wait to continue on and see where we get in the next episode. So guys, thank you for watching. Episode 10 has been a mad one and I will see you guys in the next episode of a Minecraft project. So make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Much love. Seven.